we screen for glaucoma um, and examine for glaucoma by looking at several specific things. First of all, uh, there is no one test that says yes or no to glaucoma. It's not like a pregnancy test that comes back positive or negative. You have to look at several different factors. One important factor is the intraocular pressure, the pressure within the eye. And that generally is within a certain range. 95% of, of people run between 10 and 21. If you're not in this range, it doesn't mean you have glaucoma, but it might be a red flag. Another thing we look at is the health of the optic nerve. The optic nerve communicates between the back of the eye and the brain. The very back part of the brain is where the vision centers lie. So the optic nerve passes all the way through the brain. And we can look at the optic nerve on a routine eye exam. It's best seen when we dilate the pupils. But we can look at the optic nerve and see if it appears healthy. We measure the intraocular pressure to see if it's within a reasonable range. And then third, we look at the health of the nerve tissue in the retina. We can actually see the nerve fibers coursing across the retina and we can identify, measure, quantify that and see if it's within normal range for that given person. For those patients that appear to have increased risk, whether it's their family history, whether it's a certain aspect of their eye exam, we may do additional testing such as measuring the peripheral vision. The peripheral vision gets affected before the central vision in glaucoma, and so we have ways we can formally measure that.